guys, it's your boy Mark Prime One here, here. Before I start this review of Bumblebee number one from Sudo Series, I just want to say I'm sorry. I haven't been making any more videos lately or game playing, me playing video games on my PS4. I've just been, you know, working hard and then just there's sometimes I just get lazy to either record or make videos. But I am. I'm going to make more effort to keep making more videos. I got new studio series. And also Siege 2. I tried to make a video last time. But then it kind of didn't work. So I'm going like, to make it again. And post more content. So you guys can check it out. So that's all, that's all I wanted to say. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this review I did today. Right now. So in today's review we're going to be talking about. Bumblebee, the last cleanse, number one from the Studio Series line. We're going to take a look at the package, then the robot itself. So first of the package, like you see, here's a nice picture. Bumblebee really, really looks cool, I like the image. He's number one from the 2007 Michael Bay film. He's Bumblebee, just from the logo, Hasbro, and the other side, he had a full image of his face. Number one, Studio Series in the back, and his robot form, and his vehicle form. So this must be the clean version of Bowie, that's what I heard. And here's a full image of Bowie himself. So that's it for the package, now let's take a look at the robot himself. Right now I have, here is Bumblebee, number one. And he is the cleaner version. Since I already have Clunker Bumblebee, I got him too because I, I'm trying to collect the whole Studio Series line. So, when I saw reviews about number one Bumblebee, I heard that he was kind of bad because when you, first when you in a robot form he's good, but the only thing is his back part that keeps falling off. So when I got him myself and I transformed him. First, as they come out ready in robot form, but when I try to transform it into vehicle form, and, yeah, people were right. The the back part keep falling down the, the roof of the car. So what I did, which I will show you, and further on, show you how I was able to transform Bumblebee to his robot form later. I must say, I really like him. He's the clean version. And the one thing, the reason why I got him is because, like I said, I'm trying to collect the whole Studio Series lines. And then, because since Clunker Bone was going to come with the yellow part on like this one, I got this one, so I could replace that one with this one. And this one comes with the yellow paint on the cannon. So yeah, his vehicle form is awesome, just as, to the, as from the movie 2007. Pretty amazing. Way better than the original The Lost Class Bone movie. Better detail and everything. I like how Hasbro, and Has Hasbro is really working hard to make these the original robots to these newer ones that actually look like based off of the movies. I collected so much. I only made reviews of four, no, three of them, which you can check it out on my YouTube. I'll. I'll leave a link down below so you guys can go check it out. So yeah, but for Bumble's vehicle form, it's amazing. It's cannon. Here's his cannon. Comes with the yellow paint paint job, which is really amazing. I like the detail. That silver paint job as well is pretty good. And it just goes well. The clock and Bumblebee's cannon looks good. But it's just missing this yellow paint job that they have right here. It's really amazing. Just happy I got him because I wanted him being his also because he's the clean version of a movie. Now let's try to transform him into his robot mode. I take this piece off since it keeps falling off, so I just put it to the side. For now. I know many of you already know the transformation for him. And Clunker Bone. So I'm just going to get. 
straight to the raw mode. His transformation at first when I trans when I first got the Clunker Bumblebee, it was hard for me because especially for the front part of the vehicle was hard to put in. But then I got used to it now. I know how to do how to transform him into vehicle and raw mode. Bumblebee is my second favorite Autobot from the Transformers. My well, first one's always gonna be Optimus. Second is Bumblebee though. Try not to break it. Okay, they cost me to for me to get them on eBay. Okay, got it out. Let me see, let me see. Oh, God damn it. I always forget to put these parts in front. Sometimes the legs keep moving a lot, so it's kind of hard to move. Since I already got the rest of the part before I put these little with mirrors in there, I'm gonna, uh, the part. I just really don't like how this one did it come with the metal part that goes with the like how clunker ball we came. I don't know how they thought the these little plastic holes right here would hold that. Come on, you need to put at least those little metal bars in order to be there. Oh, then my best thing holds good, I guess, for now. Now with that the that part done, just put it in, and there you have Bumblebee in his raw mode as the clean version. So, what do I like about this first Bumblebee from instead of Clunker? The difference is that for between this one and Clunker Bumblebee. This one's the clean version, and this one, he has three different parts, as Clunker Bobo doesn't. First, his chest is painted yellow instead of all gray like Clunker Bobo. Second, he has his cannon that has a yellow paint job, the yellow paint on there. And third, is because it's the clean version. So yeah, I'm really happy with this one. Oh. I've, I've seen reviews. I heard under, he's good. The keeping it, but the thing is, it's just this back part right here that keeps coming off a lot. I wish it would at least put it out of that part that just need to be there in order to keep him, keep his back part from falling the roof. But uh, for now, it's fine, I guess. The, if I had, a, there was a way I could do it to find out how to fix that, I could, but then, you know, it's, it is what it is. And now I'm going to try to add a cannon to him. Let's see how cool it really looks. Here's Bumblebee with his cannon. It looks really amazing. I just really how they're really working, doing their best for this line. The last time I collected Transformer toys was when the last night Premier Editions action figures came came out. After that, I didn't really collect Power of the Primes or some other ones they had. 
The most toy lines I collect from Transformers when I first started was when we were the Fallen. I never got any I never got a chance to get any of the two thousand seven ones, original ones. Because I never really I never, I never really had the chance to get them. Two thousand seven I had a few. I had the Bumblebee Blade one. That was my first Bumblebee I ever got. It my favorite one actually. Um, there was also. Hmm, I'm trying to think here. I did get those little mini ones, the little Fallen, little Long Haul two, but those broke, so I had to throw them away. I wish I could fix them, but they're plastic, so you can't really fix plastic unless you have super glue. But sometimes super glue does work and makes your Toys just stand there and all. Yeah, got those and then I think I had I had a lot more, but I forgot. And then Doctor the Moon, I did collect some. Not I'm not as much. I did collect that the last class Star Screen. Um. I did try to get the iron high, but I never, I never had the money for it. I did get my parents. They gave me set to the prime warrior class. He's been he was my first one. I tried to get a leader class, but I never got a chance. Three of them I found on, uh, at a thrift store when I used to not work to but do community service. I found the red and white ratchet. Warrior class Mangatron and Warrior class Ultimus, and I still have those figures. They still they can still pose and stand, but since they're like really really old, I try not to use them as much because I don't want them to break. You know, the Mangatron did it come with his cape or his gun or those his front of his car, truck mode? I didn't have to get those. Ratchet did it come with his back part or his gun either. Ultimus did it come with his those pipes in the back or his gun. So, and the propellers for him, I had one of them, but I lost the other one. Starscream, he broke. I lost his arms, and then one of his side wing broke too. I still have quite a few. AZ Restriction, um, I did collect Hound. That Bumblebee. Hmm. On that one Dinobot called Slug. And then. I didn't collect any more though. I did try to get Evasion Mode Ultimates. But I never got the chance to. Dinobots. All the collected Slug. That's about it. Never collected Grimlock. Last night I did almost collect all of them. I got the both Optimus Primes, Leader and Voyager, Megatron they got Leader, Bumblebee they got the from Ray One, I got Slash, the Barricade, Berserker, I got Hound, Drift, Crosshair, Strafe, Slug, Grimlock, and then Scrum, one of my other favorite dino, one of my second favorite Dinobots. And then Steel Blade, that one, that one was kind of sucky, but I still have him. And then, hmm, I'm trying to think of what other ones I got. Oh, Nitro Shoes, I got him too. He's my favorite one. Then I got the chance to get Cogman, Interfocus, never got him either. Um, I was still missing some few. Dragonstorm, I never got the. Leader class one. He was he was a target he was kinda expensive, but I never got a chance to get him. Alright. Um and then oh, and I also got Squeaks too. He was my favorite one. He was a little guy. He, sucks that he, in the movie we never got to see him transform into a little motorcycle. Yeah, and the studio series I started collecting them ever since I heard about them on one of my YouTubers that I like watching on phone, so Peterman, aka his channel, 
Alfonso Nation, and then Prime vs. Prime, his channel too. When I saw reviews of um, their videos about City Series, I got so excited. So, the first City Series I ever got was Ratchet. Then I got Stinger. It was most most of these I got myself. Four was my girlfriend brought bought them for me, and some were my parents. But most of them it was me. Some of them are really hard to find in stores. Stores I is mostly either the new ones, old school ones. Mostly I go on Amazon or eBay to find them the best I can, if they're cheap too. But yeah, that's how I started my collection ever since Origin of the Fallen came out. And also Siege, I did, I did start collecting them. I already have three of them, which I will make more make videos about them. So yeah. Well, enough talking about my Transformer collection. Now we're going to get back to the review of Bumblebee. So with every city series, they do come with a package. And this, as you can see, this is the scene from the power plant where Bumblebee is fighting Barricade. Which was a nice, amazing scene. So you just stick the figure here and then like they stand. Since I'm holding him, he stands pretty good. So now I'm gonna try to compare Bumblebee to his Autobots, the the five Autobots that came to Earth. First is gonna be since this is the new Optimus for 44 Leader Class. Here he is next to Leader Leader Class Optimus. They look amazing. I like how they make the size really really good. So you see, it reaches him to his almost his chest, almost. Pretty, pretty amazing. Next, we're gonna bring Ironhide, my other favorite Autobots. Come on, stand good. There you go. Here's Ironhide with Bumblebee. Nice size too. Let me just now I'm gonna bring out Jazz, but I'm gonna make it robot mode. Yeah, I have most of the whole cast of 2007 for Study Series. All I just need to do is get Bone Cru for the Septicons, I have all of them. No more, except Bone Crusher and the new Megatron. For Autobots, I have all of them. I have Bumble Bumblebees. The old Kamara one. I just need to get the new one. They're releasing next year. Which, Rich, I'm really super excited for 2020. Because we have a new studio series coming out. New ma movie masterpieces. Even though I don't own any. But one day I'm going to get get one of them. And then Siege as well. Coming out with new toys. Really excited, especially for that Bumblebee. We finally get the Camaro that we a lot of people been asking. Yeah, we have a bunch of Bumblebee figures, but not we're still missing some. Here's Bumblebee with Jails. As you can see, Jazz is more smaller than Bumblebee, or they're probably the same height, I think. Yeah, almost the same height, just Bumblebee's a little bit bigger. Now, let's get Ratchet. And if you guys want to know where I got Mark Prime, my name from, my nickname... Well, since I'm a huge fan of Optimus Prime, and then there was this one time at, at my school when I used to call myself Mark Prime, and then I'm like, hmm, sounds like a good name. So, I feel like I used to call myself Mark Prime, but then I'm like, oh, it's missing something. So, I added the 100 to it, and then that's how I got my nickname, Mark Prime 100. 
It's just Iberson's Transformers. So I just came out with that name. Is all done now. We just confirm. And here we have oops, stuck there. And this piece keeps falling out as well. Here we have Bumblebee next to Ratchet. See, Ratchet is more bigger. I would have wished there would have been a board, but oh well. But yeah. So yeah, I have them all. Collect, happy I got this guy, and then I also have Clunk Bumblebee. What 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 do you give him for re a rating? Since he does have few problems, the back part mostly. But he's amazing. He's a clean version, so I give him a eight point five out of ten because the back part mostly, and then some parts keep coming out quickly. But yeah, this is Bumblebee right here. The first one of Wave 1 Deluxe Class. I'm really happy that I have him in my collection. Let's get a closer look for you guys to see. So yeah, here's, her, here's my review on S1 Bumblebee. So... Well, that said, um, I am Mark Power 100, and I hope you guys really enjoyed this video that I made today. And I got to talk about what when I started collecting Transformers, and then all my collection that I have so far, and then about how I got my nickname Mark Power 100. And like I said, I'm gonna be, keep making more videos soon for you guys, so you guys watch them and everything so thank you for watching please hit the like button comment if what would you like to see more in my videos coming soon in the future subscribe to my channel for more content that you will see soon i'm mark Pro 100 and i'll see you guys on the next video autobots transform and roll out peace